this is going to be part one of the airbrush tutorials. Um, sorry that it's kind of loud in here. The heater is on, which is that thing over there. So anyways, I'm going to talk, give you guys like a big walkthrough on airbrushes, what to expect, what to do, what type of airbrushes are the best, what type of paints are the best, things like that. Um, so the airbrush that I use is a Poshi this one here. It is a very expensive airbrush. It's about, I think, $120 for this one. Um, it is very well made, um, and I recommend this brand. It's uh, very good, and it's American made, which is a bonus because a lot of these brushes, airbrushes that you buy from like China or Mexico or whatever, are generally pieces of crap. Um, and uh, this one here is very good and the warranty on it is brilliant which is nice um, and so forth so um, now the nice thing about this one is is that it allows you to have these little jars these little jars are great um, reason being is that you put your paint in them and all you do is switch the lids to put on that so instead of having like those little um, containers on top of the airbrush like most of them do that every time you want to change a color you have to rinse it out and then put a new color in um, these allow you just to switch them out which is nice and they're not super expensive um, as you can see here I've got black in this one most used color and then I have got another one over here which is kind of a light brown color and of course you gotta shake them up and all but um, yeah so now when we're talking about airbrush paints um, you need to be really careful about just using acrylic straight out of the bottle, such as this. Um, reason being is that these acrylics are um, technically more grainy than what airbrush paints are. Airbrush paints, when they're made, they're crushed finer, so that when they put them in the little uh, airbrush jars or the little containers, um, such as this brand or this brand here, um, these are generally crushed finer than normal acrylics were. Um, and normally it's best to use airbrush paints, um, but I know a lot of people don't have the money to buy airbrush paints. I think this brand here um, is, uh, I think, um, it was like four dollars a bottle and these ones are usually about two this is a um, a uh, another brand it's a uh, originally was it's the new one is called golden um, this is one of the older ones that they called their company um, but it's the same it's basically the same as golden um, and I really don't like this brand here it's just way too thin for me um, I like my airbrush paints a little bit thicker so I have more control over what I'm doing. Um, and this one here is a concentrate so you would have to mix it yourself to determine how thick you'd like it, which I like um, because then I can do, you know, mix it myself. Now, with, now, if you wanted to use acrylics such as something like this, you'd have to water it down major time. Now, when you're doing this, I wouldn't recommend doing this every single day with your airbrush. It will wear your airbrush out, and if you have got an expensive airbrush like I do, um, you just don't want to be doing this every day. So, if you had to, it would be okay, maybe an occasional um, thing to do if, like, let's say you ran black or something and you have to finish your horse. Yeah, it'd be okay. But always water it down really, really, really thin, and you may have to do many, many, many layers to get the color. Um, right and uh, so forth um, now there is another brand of acrylics that are a little bit less harsh on the airbrush than this apple barrel this is like Walmart brand um, the acrylics that I have are much more expensive let's see here got a box of acrylics in here let me see if I can find what I'm looking for oh here it is okay um, this is the brand here you can see the name there it is very expensive. It's about um, this one says it was 550 there. Um, 
for one tube generally um, at Walmart you can get one of those giant bottles for like two dollars but this is a more expensive brand the acrylic um, compound is crushed finer than the April barrel over here so it's a little bit better for your airbrush than using this cheap stuff um, so yeah um, <clears throat> But this is the brand that I've been using for the last couple of days, trying out new companies, so forth, seeing how, you know, what companies I like best, um, so forth. I'm still working out the kinks on my airbrush um, because I just got it. And, uh, you know, I haven't had it for very long. I got it for Christmas, so just started using it recently. Um, now, I'm going to show you guys the box here. So, this is the box there. Now, to prove to you that it was a hundred, it was $115, my bad, but yes, it was very expensive. Um, and of course, made in USA. And this has a lot of little tools in it, you know, things like that. Um, and, you know, this one comes with extra tips. So these are for finer or wider detail, depending, and it comes with extra parts in case you lose something. And this is the little cup I was talking about that you put on top of the airbrush that you'd have to rinse out every single time you want to change color. Um, and generally, you know, it had the little things, little stars over here and so forth. And of course, it comes with uh, directions and airbrush lessons for beginners. So, yeah. So, um, yeah, but that's the airbrush that I have. And I really like it. Um, I recommend that if you want to get into a profession of airbrushing, just don't go out and buy um, a cheap airbrush for, you know, like 40 bucks or something. It's not worth it. Save your money, keep saving, and eventually you'll be able to buy a good, excellent, well-made airbrush compared to a $40 airbrush, which is okay, but they're not the best. Um, they generally can have problems later down on the road and usually they break sooner so you're wasting 40 bucks when you could have put that towards your more expensive airbrush and so forth. Um, now when we're talking about compressors for the airbrush, um, it depends if you want something that can you, you can use for lots of other things or just the airbrush. So my compressor over here, just right here, this is a very large compressor. It's a uh, Campbell and uh, it is a very well made uh, compressor. This one is designed for all different sorts of things not just using for an airbrush. So it can go up to 220 psi which is a lot um, and normally an airbrush only works between 20 and 30 um, and this compressor here, well, you can use for different things, filling up tires and so forth. So if you wanted a compressor that you could use for other things, maybe in the future, don't go out and buy an airbrush compressor. Buy a regular uh, compressor that you can use for multiple things. Um, make sure that it's not oil. So some compressors are oilless, while others are um, oil. This one here is oilless. Um, reason being, you don't want to have an oil one is, is that when you are airbrushing because there is oil inside the machine. Sometimes a little bit oil can get into the um, machine itself and go through the airbrush and onto your model horse. And it can be a pain because oil, of course, is oil. It doesn't dry very well. And it's very bad for your airbrush as well. So always get oilless. Um, they are very noisy. But if you have a pair of ear protectors, that works too. That's what I've been doing. Um, now, I always recommend wearing some sort of mask when working with an airbrush. Reason being is that when you're working with an airbrush, the airbrush is creating very fine mist. So you don't want to have to go and breathe and get that into your lungs. So always wear some sort of air ma um, mask. This one here is a mask. It's a respirator. This one here has big, 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 big um, foam things in it that catch dirt and debris and um, other bad things. 
So, but I always recommend wearing some sort of compress or uh, face mask. I don't care if it's just a regular old mask or something like this. Always wear a mask. You don't want that stuff in your lungs, and it's not a good idea to have it in your lungs either. Just like when you're spraying with matte finish, primer, crystal clear, always wear a mask. I can't stress it enough. Wear a mask. I don't care if it's windy or not, still wear a mask. Um, now, a couple more things is that when you are working with your airbrush, make sure that you run it through with some water or something to clean the airbrush uh, probably maybe every couple of hours or so. You want to make sure that there's nothing drying in there and sometimes when you are, let's say, going to spray your horse to put on the next layer, some of the little bits of pieces can get stuck inside the airbrush and it's always good to rinse it out before you go and spray or anything because you don't want it drying in there because it's really hard to clean um, and get all that goop out because you could spend quite a while doing it. So um, <clears throat> make sure that you do um, you know, clean out the airbrush before you go out and spray and then, you know, of course you can come back and you're fine and keep spraying. So forth. Um, <clears throat> now, depending on texture of the airbrush, I've been working this out for a couple of days now because of course I'm still trying to figure out what textures I want. But this is one horse um, that I've been working on. He has got multiple layers of shading and you can see here he's kind of got a light cream color and then it goes darker and darker and darker until it hits the top. Um, and sometimes, you know, I do their faces with pastel, which I like to do because I have more of a hands-on feel on the model. Now, some of these I don't do that at all. This one here is a little bay. I know you can't see his coloring very well, but um, he's a little bay, and um, he just had airbrush. No pastels or anything on him, so and um, I still plan on doing more tutorials on airbrushing and how to airbrush and so forth um, but I need to get some more body horses so once I get some more body horses I will continue on with airbrushing um, if I can get this big checks to cash mold um, like to clean up I have to really work on him really bad this weekend see if I can get that mold cleaned up um, I will try to do an airbrush tutorial on him, that is, if I can get it done or not, so we will see.